Alright guys, we're playing some Olaf top lane into a Nico, and I'm gonna showcase you guys exactly how I can ha uh, hard carry in this patch. In short, we have the Little Tempo, I highly recommend you that one right now. We got Triumph, Alacrity, Last Scent, then we specifically also run Biscuits, and then the most important one is Approach Velocity. Now this game we're running with a D shield, not not long sword or D blade, because Dorn shield is gonna make me um, perma heal every single time the Nika's gonna auto me, which is pretty much the main source of like poke and trade from her. I will always heal. I'll show you. Not really a game where we need second win because with Olaf you have biscuits for sustain already. And the approach velocity is definitely needed here. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have a harder time like chasing her down. Approach velocity is like really broken in certain matchups, especially this one. Because the only way Nico can win against me is through kiting. Especially this Nico, because it turns out to be like an AD slash on hit Nico, which is uh, all based on her W. So we'll see how that's going to go. Probably gonna have a rough time at the start of the matchup, obviously, but every single time that she will walk into me for an auto, I can always hit the axe. And Olaf's sustain is really, really broken. If she hits like a couple autos, I can actually sustain back up completely using my W for like a ton of attack speed. Check this out. Should probably try and hit another one. Yeah. Got that one. One thing like worth noting by the way, um, yeah we're taking a lot of damage here, that's what it is. There's not much you can do about it. It's kind of what the matchup turns into, but it's okay. Fortunately my jungle dies. Need the Lee is also pathing topside, yeah we're gonna miss that one. Let's see if we can s slow push into her. If we can manage to push this wave into her again, we can actually get a really nice reset off. It turns out to be like an ignite version. So it's uh, definitely not going to get hit by the Q here. Nidali was topside, but I think she's going for the jungle camp right now. Yeah, we lose some CS again. Said this right before the video too. Um, this matchup is very close to playing against Teemo as well. Uh, it's very frustrating at the start of the game, but as the game continues, it's going to get better. That's kind of what it comes down to. There you go. So like at the start of the match, you are going to lose. There's no other way around it. We got D shield, but as you can see, it's not enough. We will get poked down. If there's no jungle involved, at some point we're going to have to reset, buy our items, then come back. But as long as you... Um, as long as you don't make like big mistakes in this matchup and you try and play it as safe as possible, you try and like get, stay up there as long as you can, eventually this matchup, uh, you'll start outscaling it very hard actually, especially level 6. And then it's going to be like... 30 billion times easier. That's basically what it comes down to. What we're gonna do is go lifesteal and we're gonna go for boots. There you go. So the way how you counter matchups like this in general, not just like Olaf, but most champions is through sustain, right? And all in. So that means that we're, we wanna get boots as soon as possible, right? The sooner we get boots, the faster we can catch up to her and all in, right? Uh, another way is lifesteal. So if you buy from Pork Scepter, uh, depending on the champion you're playing, you can out sustain the poke. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do both. I'll try and get boots early, but also the sustain. I'm gonna rely rely on both. Just did that one. You are going to lose farm in this matchup. There's no other way around it. Sometimes, like we got pretty bad farm right now, but that's just because the matchup is that bad. Like, it's not much you can do here. But again, like fear not because level six we win. Our our time to shine is gonna it's gonna come soon. Around now. Mm. Uh, actually, I missed my X, but I think he still does. Yeah, 
See? This is how most of these matchups are always going to go. Literally always. Timo, Nico, like all these champions, they all poke you extremely hard at the start of the match, but they all share the same weakness, guys, all right? Any champion that has this amount of poke and are ranged, they always have problems when you all in, right? Especially on Olaf, because the CC, the stuns, everything, it's being ignored. We can walk through CC very easily and have movement speed, like, advantages, right? So, those things are absolutely huge. Um, let's actually go for Berserker's Greaves here. There you go. I'll take two pots, too, so we can have more sustain. Okay. You might be a bit curious. Why Berserker's Greaves? Why not just Steel Caps, right? Or Mercs? Reason why is because with so much attack speed, if we can dish out so many autos immediately, we can actually see, actually sustain using my W, which means we can last far longer too. So armor is not always the best option. You can also go attack speed depending on the champ. Especially in Olaf, it's really good because the, the amount of sustain we have is absolutely insane. I'm gonna clean up this wave very fast. Let's see who the real one is. And he's dead again. See? We simply wait for the right moment. And then we just pop in my ultimate when he throws to CC. And then we all in. And there you go. Super simple. And now we're gonna go for the first plating. Uh, this guy is running Ignite, so he can teleport back. If we get ganked by Needly, then uh, we can probably kill Needly too. Seems like we got an uh, 80 carry. Who is disconnecting, so it's going to turn to a 4 against 5. We'll see how that's going to go. Nice. We'll shove this one too. Nico will come back. So we're going to have to hurry up. And there you go. So, we got a kill. We got the wave under tower. It completely died out. Now, you know, all the plates, everything combined. We are really, really far ahead right now. We have like three kills. Nico cannot play lane anymore. I'm way too far ahead in this game. Um, let's go for... Uh, let's go for TML. But yeah, like, we are too far ahead. There's no... There's literally no chances on earth that Nico will ever outscale me. There's no way. We are too far ahead on Nico. If we make zero mistakes, she will never win. So all we have to do is just keep either maintaining lead or again an advantage, even make it bigger, right? Which is an easy thing to do, let's be honest. Once you get this far ahead in the game, it's very easy to snowball. Especially when you're playing against Nidali, um, Nico, and all sort of, like all that stuff, it's like really easy. You'll see for yourself. They need to kite me down, which they can't do because I got my ghost, right? Nice. I'm gonna walk this direction because we're gonna farm between the two towers and then use that to rotate. Mm. I don't know what she's trying to do, man, but he's, she's losing a wave right now if she does this. That's the fake one. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up the blue buff. We'll make sure we get this one. Cool. Oh. Well, that's really uh, interesting. Yeah, cool. I'll take them both. Sure. Now, before we make the decision to go back, if we were to back off right now, it would be really bad because Nico is actually hard shelving top lane, which means I'm going to lose like a full, uh, like a full entire wave, right? So before we make the decision to back off, I need to push the next wave. Then we go back because otherwise we're going to start losing waves, which is just not worth it, right? Look. Oh, we're about to get a kill. Yep. And that's a kill. Awesome. So, now we go back. We're gonna go for Hydra. 
And then after Hydra, we're going to go Stripe Breaker. This item is really important this game. Let's go for it. There you go. Take the blue trinket. And we walk back. Stripe Breaker is very important this game. We're not going to go Trinity Force. We're going to go Stripe Breaker because uh, they have uh, four champions, which are all ranged. If we get to them, we get close, we can perma slow them using item, which is unavoidable. You can't dodge a Stripe Breaker once you get in close range, which that just allows us to keep like fighting. We can chase them down easier at that point because we like a, a Q can be dodged, right? Stripe Breaker cannot be dodged. And it also provides a weekly on top of that stuff. Let's go for this one. I've got the sustain to do this, so it's whatever. You can see the amount of damage he's doing. It's absolutely crazy. Um, okay. I think somebody might be top set. We're about to get a free kill. Remember, Yasuo can hit the wind wall and block my uh, axe. So... Yeah, there it is. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, he just dashed up to me. I thought he was going to wind wall, but as it turns out, he didn't. So I could have killed him if I played it differently. But yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I think we're about to get a kill. It really depends. Um, no. Uh, Fortunately, not today. No problem, though. We can heal back up using Hydra and W. The passive of Olaf is so broken. Like, the fact that he heals so much. Sustain is really broken for laning. Got the full wave. Really good. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, really? I'm gonna take the risk here. Um. Not worth it. Let me check. No ignite though. Yeah, he didn't ignite. I just didn't get to heal as much. That sucks. Huh. That actually worked out for Nico. Hmm. Got hit on the edge of the brush. I'm not I don't remember what happened anymore, but I I think her PDA procced <laughs> after the ultimate. That's where the, the amount of damage came from. Hmm. Ah, no problem. It's all good. There you go. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, it sucks that we die. Uh, not by Nico, by the way. Nico got no kills, no assists, nothing actually. Uh, only Yasuo got something. And it was avoidable because I could just keep on running. The, the Yasuo would never get it. But I, I want to take, try and take the risk. Not really worth it again. Oh. Cool. Hey. Ah, it's not pathing top. This guy's going Nash's tooth actually, so it's not AD. Not as I expected. We're gonna adjust the playstyle a little bit because this Nico has a lot of damage on the Nash's tooth. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's dropping the fake one. I'm not really like as interested in like fighting up the Nico because I'm gonna have to overextend in order to kill him. Which simply isn't worth it. Uh, we're about to get a catch here. We got a good flank on the Yasuo. Mm, not too bad. Got him. Let's uh, push the next wave too. Ping topside. 
So whoever cleans it, I'd appreciate it. And that's pushed in, so Yus is gonna lose that wave. Maybe we can pick some something else. The red buff is not there anymore. MF is about to die. Yep, she's gonna die because the Zerat is on the right side. Oh, they're baiting. Ah. Oh, not bad. I mean, not really a... <laughs> Worth it in my opinion. <laughs> For them at least. Alright. <laughs> I get like two kills, I mean. That's far better for me. <laughs> they should have not taken that one. Look how much gold I'm worth right now. And we also get the tower. Which is very important right here. Because the, in case you're unaware about this, the tier 2 tower provides way more gold than any other. So, tier 2 tower is like really broken because the amount of value you get from it, it's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm not going to fight that one. MF is back too. I don't want to take the risk that much. Nah, stick about it, but no. I'd rather not do it. Got 3.4. I think Zyra is like chasing me down. I don't know. <laughs> the guy is so annoying. <laughs> oh man. I might I might be forced to stay though. Hmm. The blue buff has been stolen. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick up the wave. They meant to cancel all my backports. But I don't want to lose the wave. Nice. Let's pick up the Stripe Breaker. And we can also start building the next item, which is going to be a Deadman's Plate. Now, I really like Deadman's Plate. Uh, I don't typically build it on Olaf all the time. As you guys have probably noticed, uh, it's something that I build depending on the game. In games like this, where you're snowballing, I highly suggest it because it just makes snowballing easier. Um, I don't think I catch... Huh? That's the fake one. I got trolled. <laughs> I'm not gonna chase down the Nico. No, I'll just push. <laughs> yeah, I wasted my ignite so hard. Is there anything else I can get? Anything else? I hope. The camp is spawning. I can go for a flank, but they already, uh, they've already gotten that one. The scamp is spawning here. Hey, yes. A kill right there that I can get. Oh, my ultimate's like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Well, maybe we're lucky and she's gonna walk in here anyway, but I <laughs> I very much doubt it. No. I'm not too bothered. Might go for like one more wave though. So I can be efficient. There you go. They'll push in. Yosu's mid lane. Rotating towards the bottom. We're gonna go Drake right now. Perfect. And the long sword. We're gonna build a dead stance next. And then like the last item is gonna be very situational. This will be a good fight. Uh because the Nico is not here. Nico is still rotating. Um Well, two kills if my teammates bleed as well, they can clean it up. <laughs> like 10 HP. Oh, clean. Pretty good stuff. 
Nico is not here, apparently. I tanked up like four people at the same time. Like normally you don't want to play like that, but this is worth it. Like they were all stacked up. That's pretty good. This will be a free uh, free trick. Ooh, nice. Gotta dodge the spear. <laughs> She's looking to throw the spear. I would just Q across. Okay. Oh, we got it. Nice. I mean, I appreciate it, man. Any Inverno we can get is more damage. And more damage sounds good in my ears, you know? It's my favorite dragon to get. If I see Inverno, I want it. <laughs> Ooh, we can get another really good fight off, uh, probably. Hmm. Next. Ooh, nice, got him. Next. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. And it's time, we're gonna be running off to a Balain. Actually, Baron would be far better. Yeah. Baron would be so much better, actually. But yeah. We're gonna open up the map here. Hmm. Let's try. Yeah, we're not getting it. My team does get the Baron though, so it's not too bad. Ha, ah, nice one. Checking it up. Alright, not bad. Um, seems like they probably figured out. Cool, got it. Because they were rotating towards me, so that... You know, that's gonna be a free Baron like that. Got my death stance. Uh, last item is a bit situational. I'm thinking about going Spear of Visage. Uh, because of the healing. It's starting to look pretty bad for the enemy team, not gonna lie. Like, I'm becoming a raid boss. Only Yasuo has a chance to beat me. Nobody else does. And it's looking pretty bad for Yasuo too, not gonna lie. That guy barely stands the chance. Hmm, <laughs> can I pick it up? Ooh, nah. I didn't get it. I could outsmite it. Very well then. Yeah, this game is done, bro. Like, I'm too strong. I uh, guess we can probably continue pushing. Yeah, we can just keep going. Yeah, <laughs> she can't set out the ultimate. Yep. Hey, this is Olaf Top Lane. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.